Hi, this is Crypto Guy in South Africa. So today I'm gonna to focus on, you know, how do we go about moving your current um, Tron ERC20 tokens to an exchange? And then, you know, why are we doing this? So just to give you a bit of a idea of why we're doing this. So there's a document, you know, or a medium post that you can see that's called Guidance for Users After Tron Mainnet Launch. You can Google this, you'll find it quite easily. Um, this is an actual post from Tron themselves giving you a little bit of direction on why you know you need to do this But really at the end of the day It's because Tron is getting ready to go onto their own network and move off of the Ethereum network So if we look at it mainnet has been launched, but it's in a testing phase from the 1st to the 24th and Then what will happen is you know the official block on the new network will then be t done on the 25th so all transactions from the 1st to the 24th will be removed you know it's still in a test cycle but on the main net if you want to call it that as mentioned over here but the first block will then be generated on the june 25th so what is really important that we need to do is we need to move our tokens to the exchange before the 25th and then when we do that that basically the exchange will then exchange your erc20 tokens with the tron foundation to the real tron token on the proper network And then from there, you'll then be able to do voting. So if we look over here, from June 21 to June 24th, withdrawals on exchanges will be suspended. Users must deposit Tron or TRX to an exchange before June 24th. So I would recommend start doing it now. Don't leave it to the last minute. And then on the 24th, both TRX deposit withdrawals on exchanges will be suspended because that's when they'll be doing the changeover. And then withdraw TRX to wallets and vote on June 26th. So that's just to give you an idea of the process. So it's important to get your tokens in because you won't be able to withdraw between June 21st and 24th. And then on the 25th, you won't be able to do deposits or withdrawals. So it's quite important to get those coins in as soon as possible so that you can exchange it and the exchange happens easily onto the Tron uh, network. Bear in mind when I say it will exchange the Tron, it will still remain in your exchange, but your exchange will have the tokens in running or kept on the new network and then you'll be able to withdraw to a normal um, wallet that will be supported by Tron on their network. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you I've got Binance open here I'm already logged in and then we can see there's my Tron currently it's still an ERC20 token so what I've got to do now is deposit any ERC20 tokens I've got here. So what we're going to do is we first got to obviously copy the address then if I go to my Ether wallet, this is where I've got some tokens because I bought them a while ago. So now what I'm going to do is I want to send it to an address. So I'm just going to log in and say, okay, I'm even using a key store file. Just unlocking my wallet and then if I scroll down, I'm just going to show tokens. If I scroll down, I should see my Tron token. Just click to load. And there we go. We can see how that I've got 1,813 tokens. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is then transfer my token. So I'm gonna say, paste that. I'm gonna say amount to send. My TRX, just to get that full balance again. One, let's uh, scroll up like that so it's easier to see. All right, then we're going to go 1813, 8561. And then over here, you can then change your gas limits as needed. But I'm going to say now let's generate transaction. Just before you do that, just ensure that this wallet address is correct. So I'm going to go back here, just check over here. You can see it starts with 0x, ends with 64. 0x ends with 64, it's the correct one. I'm sending my TRX token, ERC20 token. 
and then I can say generate transaction, scroll down, and I can say send transaction. Then I say yes, I am sure, have one last look, make sure it's correct. Okay, so once you have done that, you can come through to Binance and see that it has transferred. So we go over here, we say deposits, and then we can see over there it's trying to confirm. Another way to see is we go to transaction history, and then we can see that it's coming through and it's busy confirming. We've got to then wait for this to go to 30. Okay, and now we can see that the transaction has completed. Once the transaction is completed, if you go to your balances, your Tron balance should increase. And then all you've got to do now is keep it here until the day that all the deposits are frozen, which will be on the 25th, and then we can um, get it exchanged onto the Tron network, and then from there you'll be able to withdraw it, put it in a wallet, and get ready to vote. That's it from CryptoGuy.